I'm Kappa and today we're gonna be sitting down to check out these three mice and we're gonna test all three of them including but not limited to reaction tests so how fast do they receive information we're gonna do a gameplay test, spin out test, a sensor accuracy test and more and yeah we're gonna be answering the questions are wireless mice even good? Do you need a gaming mouse at all? And is your current mouse good enough? Let's go! And boom, we transitioned! Just to get some quick context, let's meet our contenders. So the first mouse that I just dropped is the Logitech M170. It's a wireless mouse powered by a battery. Comes with a small little receiver. Just some quick notes, it's about 5 years old at least. It's also an older model, the sensor spins out and it glides really bad. Some quick specs. And we're off to the next mouse, oh no, let's not drop this again. The next mouse, let's focus on it, is the Razer Viper, just the normal edition. Uh, it got some lightweight mods going on, it glides really well. And uh, let's list some quick specs. If you're interested, I got the review of that mouse. This is also my main. And now to the third mouse, which is also on Logitech and also wireless, the G903 non light speed version. And uh, again, quick specs. And also to give some more context, I've used this mouse for uh, around two years, this mouse for a bit more than a year, and this mouse for about, I don't know, three or four months. Now, let's move on to the actual main part of the video. The test. On to the first part of the test section. So, to explain where we are now, we're in CSGO, which is a great game to test out my skill, I got about 2000 hours in the game, so I should be fine. I have everything configured so we have the lowest latency possible. And uh, yeah, we got our first contester, this is the aimbots map. All of the mice will be set on the same sensitivity on their best possible settings. And the challenge will be to kill 30 bots in the smallest amount of time possible with the highest amount of accuracy. Before actually starting the challenge, how does the mouse feel? So firstly, I'm noticing some issues. If you take a look in my mouse cam and the actual game, I'm gonna do a quick little flick to see what happens. So if the sensor spins out or we see any issues. And uh, <laughs> those are some major issues right there. If we flick if you play on a normal speed, everything seems to be going fine, but if you do a quick flick, you can see it actually just doesn't move at all. So that's probably because of the sensor, it's an old sensor on a budget mouse, so that should be expected. But let's see how this affects my performance. So I'm gonna be tryharding essentially with every mouse. So let's start. Well, this shirt made me look bad. Um, so, here are the results. I'm gonna have a quick little graph at the end after comparing all the mice. And our next contender is the Big Boy Logitech. So, immediately, it feels a lot better. All the clicks feel so much smoother. I'm not noticing any big delays because of the wireless connections. Um, and the shape overall is really nice on this mouse. It feels premium. But it's a bit on the heavy side, so let's see how this will play out. Well, um, <laughs> this was a lot better than the Logitech. Moving on to the last contender, the Razer Viper. We set a challenge, and uh... Unhooking it from the camera leg 
And uh, let's see how my main does. Well, I didn't mess up a couple of shots, but uh, we got the first round of results, and <laughs> so let's sum it up and move on to the next round. To keep it short, what can we learn from the first test? The M170 is really bad because it loses track when you try to flick really fast, plus it has some input lag, just a little bit, but otherwise it's not that bad. You can see the accuracy is a lot worse than the other ones. Then we have the G903, you can see that it's got a worse time than the Viper, but it's got a better accuracy, and that's because it's a heavier mouse, and it basically means that it's harder to flick with the G903, but it's easier to get more accurate shots. And the Viper is faster and slightly less accurate, but um, you know, the Viper still wins because it was faster. Moving on to the next test. And we're off to the second challenge. So this challenge is a little bit different from the previous one. The previous one was purely aim and just trying to do it as fast and as accurately as possible. Whereas in this challenge, if you don't do it, you die. So if a mouse has a bad sensor, it glitches out or maybe double clicks or something like that. <laughs> um, you're gonna probably see it happen here. This is the most the most intense round, I'd say. So uh, let's put up our first contestants on the chopping board and let's see how it holds up. So let's start. Well, that that didn't go that well. You got 15 targets before I died. Let's do two rounds with each mouse. Okay, we got a second result. You can definitely see this mouse is not good for flick shotting. And uh, let's move on to the big boy logic. This definitely should feel a lot more comparable to the Viper. Let's start and see how big of a difference we have between these two because the other one is clearly just not as good. We reach 100 with this mouse. So I feel like we need to step out the speed because. Uh, this mouse clearly can go to infinity with this respawn speed. Let's crank this up a notch for the expensive mice. Okay, so 12 in the first round. Let's try this again. So you can see, again, a consistent result. So this is definitely testing the mouse and me more. And let's see if this mouse can beat the Logitech. Okay, so at first glance, a better result. Let's see if I... Okay. So 44 definitely a lot better. Now in this test, you can clearly see that the M170 fails this test. The G903 and the Viper completely blow the M170 out of the water. So that's why I decided to do another test with slightly faster spawnings. And uh, in this test, I decided to do the M170 off camera just to see how bad it was. And as you can see, it doesn't really compare. I could get some kills with the G903, but again, I think it's just too big for my hand. You know, my hands are about medium sized, but you can definitely see that I struggle while flicking really fast with the G903 just because of the weight and the overall bigness of the mouse that that's a word now and you can see that i don't really struggle that much with the viper here i'm just limited by my own abilities and uh yeah you can see that i could go up to 50 right here which is pretty good 
Moving on to the next test. And we're off to the reaction time test. So this is a test that's gonna hopefully show us the delays between different mice. And uh, hopefully I can perform in this test so we can get some accurate results. Cause I'm not the fastest. Let's go. The first small Logitech. We're looking for an average help. And before we see the showdown of the big two, I want you to remind you that you still can subscribe. Okay, let's do the fast boys. Yeah. Definitely forcing me to click on. And now let's see how the Viper compares. And to conclude the reaction time test, you can see that the M170 is surprisingly good. And uh, it's because of several reasons. The first reason is the actual shape of the mouse which forces me to hold the mouse in a way which makes me which makes it quite easy to click the button really fast it's got stiff buttons so you see you probably I cut it out probably but I didn't pre-fire at all because the buttons are stiff and it's accidental clicks aren't really thing on this mouse you can see that that it's inconsistent because it has a slower pulling rate than the other mouse which basically in certain situations adds a couple of milliseconds to it probably like max 15 milliseconds then the G903 as you can see did the worst which kind of surprised me and it's because of the buttons on the mouse and the shape of the mouse it has armor and switches which aren't the most famous for durability sometimes I get double clicks on it so you can see me pre-firing a lot if I didn't cut it out and the overall shape of the mouse is again it's too big for my hand and it kind of first of all it forced me to pre-fire and second of all it, it was kind of awkward to really fire at the right moment and then you got the Razer Viper which did the best on the test and there are several reasons for it it has a low input lag has a 1000 times per second pulling rate also has laser switches it's a wired mouse and uh, as you can see that really helps it also has a nice design the buttons are low on the mouse and they have nice grooves it has a light click so you don't struggle while pressing it and uh, just it just feels the most comfortable out of all the three and that's why I got the best average and the best best of the best I guess and uh, yeah, let's move on to the real life test. Today, cops take down my license plate. 
evil thoughts like the girls I fuck today. Okay, Metaphors for fucking days. Fly my kite today. For the cops taking down my license plate. Evil thoughts like the girls I fuck today. Metaphors for fucking days. Fly my kite away. Fly my kite away. Fly my kite away. Step away. Yeah. Kites fly, I'm low. I lie, we high, we gone. You pie, I'm stone, you right. Yeah. The drugs are life, I'm out my mind. No switch in size, I'm high, I'm high. You live, you die, some suicide. You can't decide what's right is right, what's left is left. It's life or death. I'm fly my kite like fuck your jet. I'll fly my kite like fuck your jet. Fly that motherfucker kite. Fly that motherfucker kite. As far as it goes.